Well, we're back now, and if you're like the rest of America, you're probably gearing up for Memorial Day weekend and ready to, ready to hit the grill. So we brought in general manager slash grill master, we, Steve Wilkes. GM, we like to call him grill, grill master. master. It makes sense. You're from Longhorn Steakhouse, and you're going to give us a little, uh, you know, demonstration of how to really pull this off this weekend. Right. School us when it comes to grilling. First, we're going to start out with the seasoning because it's all in the seasoning. You can really either make it or break it with it. That's correct. First of all, I want to say thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, thanks for uh, definitely coming. Definitely a pleasure. Uh, in Longhorn, we, we do like to focus on fresh, never frozen steaks okay. and, bold, and bold seasoning. A lot of people are scared to season their steaks where we're, we just write, you know, we get in there, season them well, and put it on put it on the grill. You can't fake steak. So what I have over here, I have um, our sirloin. Um, I have some hamburgers. I have our bone-in ribeye that we have, um, which is our outlaw. I have our flows filet. Um, I All have, popular things to have on Memorial Day or whenever you're out there grilling. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the marbling that's in the ribeye really embraces the steak, really brings out the flavor. And if you have any tips, if um, during Memorial Day, you can call our hotline and we can help you out as well. And that's always the good thing. So if you get lost, you always have that phone call to, to make. So when it comes to, we're going to be seasoning these steaks. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what are these and what are we going to be seasoning them with? Okay, these are our bone-in outlaws that I talked about. Uh, as you see, the bone will give it flavor. Has some nice marbling through it as well. And we have our grill seasoning. It's a blend of different spices, mainly pepper, main, mainly salt, some paprika. Uh, if you don't have this seasoning, you can just do, at your house, you can just do salt, pepper, and some garlic. But So simple. Simple, just really simple. Now, are you one of those guys who, when you see someone at a table dumping steak sauce all over it at the end, do you get you, angry? You know, I, like, you know, I cry inside. You do, but, you know, <laughs> but it's, it's a soft cry because you know it's a bunch of eclectic flavors, and it's okay. Some sauce is okay, okay, but not too much. So you want you want the seasoning to enhan enhance the flavor of the steak so that you don't Definitely. really need to add anything. Else That's correct. Okay. Don't be scared of it as well. Okay, so, so we just throw that on like there. That. And how do we want to get these done? I mean, I know people like different tastes. They like well done, medium rare, rare. What do you like to do? Typically, I like to do medium. It's about 140 degrees as well. You never want to puncture your steaks as well with a fork. You know, definitely do it off a of fill or, or have a little thermometer you can get at Walmart. Okay. You know, just to, just, just to tip your steak. So like how when you want to cut open chicken to see if it's cooked through, there you are you not doing that to the steak. Not, we're not doing okay. that. Do okay. not do that to your steak. Your steak will thank you if you don't do that. All right. We always like the steak Perfect. to thank us, of course. So That's now right. when we're, let's talk <laughs> still about seasoning here. Is there certain things, I know you did the garlic, the salt and pepper for steak. Do you want to switch it up when you do a burger? Well, burger, yeah, you know, it's, you can do the same principle. I mean, we, we have our different eclectic, um, you know, seasons at Longhorn. We have mm -hmm. something that's called prairie dust that goes very well on burgers, but just a simple salt and pepper. What people mess up is they try to get crazy and, and there's all kinds of things on there to where they'll try to put hickory and smoke and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do all that. You just make it really simple. If you want to go crazy, come to Long Court Steakhouse. We'll do that for you. But just right. at your house, at basic salt and, pe salt and pepper. That's all you need. A little bit of garlic. You're good to go. And so sure that they're healthy, so you're not packing them with cheeses and things like that, where you could technically, I guess, go wrong with some guests. You, you can. If, if you start to alter the flavor of the steak, you can, or the burgers, you can start, you know, going crazy with it. Okay. Right. And again, we want to mention that hotline you have. So if people maybe have a question about, hey, does this flavor work? Can they give you a call and ask that? They, with this they can. They okay. can. This Sunday, we're going to be open from 11 to 5. You can give us a call. From anything from how do I start off with my grill because you know they get a good grill marks you have to have oil you can do it with either a spray bottle like I have or mm -hmm. you can get a rag and you can you know get your grill you know very you know coated to where your okay. steaks are, aren't you know sticking all right okay. well we have the grill hot we're gonna keep these on here and keep checking back to see how they're doing Steve we're gonna check in with you in just a few minutes more on how to make that perfect Memorial Day uh, cookout perfect for you we'll be right back